So when you think about impact investment, it's really about what is the, what is the theory of change and what is the secondary impact and outcome on people's lives and real people, not just that we're going to do ABC and make a lot of money out of it. So in somewhere like Kenya now, not only has it empowered individuals, it's created a, a whole new job class called agents. And these agents are also employing and providing financial services and feeding their families. And the example I use in the financial services sector is the deployment of ATMs. Now we can see the controversy over ATM deployments, especially when it comes to the central bank reducing the fees and charges they can charge. ATMs have gone down, cash in ATMs is reducing, so what the question I ask the bankers is, how many ATMs do you deploy around hospitals? And what's the purpose of the ATM to dispense cash, right? So assuming you take your relative or your loved one to a hospital, and you need to dispense cash for that transaction, the ATM isn't dispensing cash. What happens? There's a secondary case of loss of life. But because they're not looking at it from that perspective, for them, it's really all about how do we make money from each ATM we'll deploy in every location. That is an impact investment, but it's about changing the narrative. Rather than looking at it from what's in it for us, but what's in it for society and the common good in general. And I think that's the first step we need to take.